Kirby and Dana from KJF Travel Adventures and we're on day six of our Christmas cruise aboard the Carnival Mardi Gras. I remembered before I started talking this time. Yesterday I wasn't sure what day it was. <laughs> and today we are headed to Grand Turk. So another nice sort of free option for a beach day. So let's go check it out. We were here almost a year ago, and then they got hit by both, I think, Ian and Nicole hurricanes this season, and they've lost a lot of, a lot of beach. beach. Like, you're like right up on there with the chairs. There used to be like rows and rows of chairs and then the beach, and now it's like, it's like three, rows of, three rows of chairs, and the water is right there. There's still plenty of seating, um, but that's sad. Hopefully they can uh, get some of that rebuilt as they get some tourism dollars back in. Um, Margaritaville does have a pool mm -hmm. that is free to use. Mm -hmm. um, even if you don't buy anything from Margaritaville, you can just go use the pool. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. The beach was free. There's lots of people offering fancier comfy chairs or shade or umbrellas or tours or all-inclusive packages, drinks, drinks all, yes, anything you could think of. They weren't super aggressive. I've been in places where they were much more aggressive than, than here. So. Anything else about Grand Turk? And you're right, like the, the ship is right there. You could go back on board to like eat lunch and come back if you didn't yeah, want to spend really any money. So. You're really close. Yeah. It looked like um maybe like half the shopping was closed. I'm guessing from damage. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's still stuff to do. Yeah. Um, there was some oh, pretty okay snorkeling for how small of an area it was. Mm -hmm. I saw some fish, so. There were more people waiting to hook up with their excursions than I've ever seen ever in Grand Turk. <laughs> That's how I felt about Amber Cove yesterday. But yeah. I didn't know that there were that many excursions. There was lots. There were lots of people. Yeah. Oh, our boat is full. It's 6,500 people and both Amber Cove and Grand Turk have not felt busy. I think because a lot of people have done excursions. So, which is good for us because we didn't. I've never done an excursion in Grand Turk. No. So, we can't offer you any guidance nope. there. We just like free beach days. Yes. Free and frugal. Yes. And then we 
it to um, Serenity. Uh, I know you're shocked. Decked. 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 You know, I know you're shocked we spend some time in Serenity and those chairs we've claimed as our own. And as another thrilling piece, we went to Big Chicken again. Shocking. <laughs> We actually brought our big chicken up to Serenity Deck. Two of our favorite things on the boat. <laughs> and now we're getting ready for dinner. I think we're going back to Chebang tonight to do the Mexican menu. And then there's two shows tonight. One in Mardi Gras and one in Center Stage that we'll try and get fit in. Anything else? Okay. All right, let's go eat. So we had dinner at Chebang. Yep. We had the Mexican menu tonight. It was okay. We also had weird... So we went to Chebang a couple nights ago. Mm -hmm. And had like... The food came out fast. Really great service. It was all delicious on the Chinese menu. We all did the Mexican menu today. Our entrees came out first. And then... Okay. Whatever. But then instead of somehow holding our appetizers until our entrees were done. Then our appetizers came out like two minutes after our entrees came out. So we had like, and it's two appetizers each, so we each <clears> had like six plates with the like sauces. It was just, yeah. it was, it was, it wasn't enough space. It was not great. Um, and the food was okay. Was like okay. my nachos were good. My food was cold. Yeah. Some of the plate, things were cold. That should have been warm. And like the best thing I had was a quesadilla. Yeah. A uh, tortilla and cheese, like... The sauce that came with the case it was really yeah. good. Yeah. The worst thing I had was, um, they were like mushroom tacos is one of the appetizers. The sauce on them was sweet, and I was not expecting that. And they were I cold. That was the plate it. of it cold, cold stuff. Yeah. I didn't care for it. Yeah. So, not a great experience, which is sad, because we had a really great we experience. We really liked the Asian And we menu. really liked the Asian Chinese menu. So... <sighs> All right, uh, there's two shows tonight, so um, we're going to start with Broadway Beats, because that's the one we really want to see, because that's in the Mardi Gras Theater, and the then the, playlist, and the production. playlist production, and then the second one is Voodoo Moon, which is in Center Stage, so. All right, let's go. Thank you. 
Mm-hmm. What'd you think of Broadway Beats? That was my favorite show so far. You liked it more than Celestial Strings? Yes. Yeah. Um, a yeah. lot. Me too, actually. but I just assumed that I liked that one best because I am a giant Broadway nerd. But Celestial Strings was was second best, but Broadway Beats was really good. Really, really good. And Voodoo Moon, I went in with low expectations. very low expectations. If you nix the 15 minutes of magic to start it, it wasn't bad. <laughs> Poor Julian. <laughs> but, I feel bad. Yeah. I just really hate magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the this production on center stage was less... There was, yes, that's a great word. There, if there seemed to actually be a storyline. There was a there plot. Was a, there was, um, you could focus on one thing instead of them trying to have you focus on 20 things yeah. at once. It was much more like, here's our singers and the dancers versus here's our singers and our dancers and our aerialists and our, I know there were no jugglers, but in our jugglers and our lion tamers, like the Love in Vegas show was just too much. I still so, hate center stage. Yeah, I don't. I still don't like center stage as a venue, and but at least Voodoo Moon was better than my low expectations. So yeah, yeah. it was a good day. Yeah. We talked about Chibang already. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's it. You have anything else? Nope. Tomorrow's a C day. Last C day. I'm Kirby. I'm Dana from KJF Travel Adventures. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when all of our new videos drop. Bye.